This project was just a product of having these parts laying around. I've had a very inexpensive Harbor Freight lathe for a while, and I've done some really cool bowls and other projects with it, especially with the PSI chuck. But the problem with this lathe is that in order to change the speeds, you had to change the belts. And even with the belt changes, the speeds were, were not that great. The slowest it could go was around 930, and then it would run up to 2500. But I wanted to be able to go slower, and I wanted some more control of the speeds in between. Like most folks, we had an old treadmill that was headed for the dumpster. The motor, however, worked, and the control board worked fine. So I couldn't throw it out, and this stuff sat in a bin for a while in the shed. And then I got to looking at it and thought I could do a simple mount for this and see how this would work. So this is really basic. It is what you see. A 2x4 that's bolted to the top of this. And then this piece is on a hinge from the junk bin. And to put some tension on this, I tapped, drilled, and tapped a couple bolts there. And then by screwing these down, the whole thing goes up a little bit, and then we can increase the tension on the belt. The control board from the treadmill is just sitting under here. Try to give it some dust protection there. This is the switch that was on the bottom of the treadmill. This is the belt that came with the Harbor Freight lathe. And I was going to, and I still might get around to it, design something to hold this a little more firmly and maybe turn a little piece that would actually have a channel for the belt. But for the time being, this holds really tight and there's an ever so slight angle back so this doesn't wander off. One of the cool things about having the treadmill here is you've got all the individual steps between each of these speeds. And roughly speaking, the speeds on this at the first setting is about 320 revolutions per minute. Setting 2, 675, 3 is 1150, 4 is 1530, and 5 is up near 2000. And with this setup, I don't want to go too much faster than that. But it's nice for sanding and for more polishing to be able to slow it down. As far as the mask here, this is just to try to keep a little dust out of the inside there. Start with one. Two. Pretty quiet, pretty smooth. So that's about 675 revolutions per minute. We go up to three. And three, we're at 1150. Pretty stable. And then four. Around 1500, 1530. Really no vibration on here. Go up to five. And that's up around 2000. Have that back to round two. Generally when I'm turning, I'm somewhere in this three to four range. And I've noticed with the speed, it'll go down, take a little dip, and then come back up. And again, the in-between speeds are nice. Just kind of notch it up a little bit. This is still attached, so you can just pull this off and everything will stop. So does this turn this into a great lathe? No, but it's kind of a fun project with stuff that's laying around. And for some simple turning, it does work pretty well. As far as the Harbor Freight lathe, nothing has been permanently changed. The motor is still in here and this piece can come off. The belt can go back to the regular setup and we're back in business the way it was. Thanks very much for taking a look.